this weekend inside the Los Angeles Convention Center, the Abilities Expo is bringing disabled people closer to doing what they might have once thought was impossible. Canine Angels is one organization at the event who give children and young adults who need a companion or something as serious as spinal cord injury a trained dog. Where the dogs are taught to help turn on lights, open doors, retrieve items, and it really depends upon the disability of the child as to what skills we put on the dog. The dogs go through a few years of training school and are paired with their owner under a sort of probation to make sure the new owner and the dog are a good match. And if you're ever able to attend a graduation of a service dog or a guide dog program, I think you'll, you can really see just what a difference they make in the person's life that they graduate with. For the older clients, Toyota and Braun Corporation joined up in 2004 to create these vans that allow people in wheelchairs to drive. Lloyd Updike told me some of the modifications they made on the Toyota Sienna. Uh, lower the floor, we make the front seats removable, okay. We add the ramp to the side and it's all computerized. We actually integrate right into Toyota's uh, electrical system. This new technology is built to give people independence. So that they can have the same quality of life that anyone else has. We can't do anything to extend the quantity of their life, but we sure can improve the quality of their life. Mimi Greenberg, a retired psychologist, goes to the expo every year to see what new products are on the market. But I think it's very important in terms of disabled people finding out what's available in the community. One of the owners of the expo, David Course, said he wants to open up doors that the disabled might have closed themselves. I want them to know there are resources and training and technologies and products and services to make it a little easier and a little bit more fulfilling for them. Cor said he wants people to talk less about what they can't do and more about what they can do. The expo will go on through the weekend and is, is expected to see over 9,000 visitors. This is Rosa Chu reporting from Los Angeles, USC Annenberg News.